Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome back to my brand new React JS series. In this video, I'll show you how we can create our own content in React JS. So far, I have already shown you to create React JS project, we have to install Node.js and I hope you already installed it. And to create our code, we use Visual Studio Code. And I hope you have already installed Visual Studio Code as well. And after that, this is the command npx create react app and then cd my app this is your project name and then npm start so this these are some prerequisites i hope you have already done all of them and once you run your project so you will see this default react js project interface all right so far now let's go back to visual studio code and once you create a new react.js project, you will see app.js and this is the content. If you see this logo, add it source app.js and this is the hyperlink to go to react.js.org. This is the same content which is visible over here. All right. Now index.js, this is the main file. And if you see app.js, we have imported app inside this. So from here it will take the reference and render this HTML. Let's go to package.json. Here, whatever dependencies or third party libraries you will install, you will see all list over here in this file. Now, coming to index.html, as we all know, React is a single page application. So, whatever you will see on your screen, you will see inside this single div. All right, so this is the root ID of this div and whatever component you will create all will be rendered inside this root div. Now let's go to app.js. So here as you can see there is a header tag and after this header let me give a break line and after that let me put one paragraph and hello world this is my first react.js application so save it is compiling compiled successfully let's go back to his browser you see hello world this is my first react.js application so by this way you can edit your content but again this is not the best approach in fact this is not a good approach if you want to render your own HTML part your own logic on JavaScript code then you have to create multiple components inside the source folder which I'll tell you in the next upcoming videos how we can create component like class component how we can create our functional component all right and how we can import those component inside this app.js and how we can reference those and how we can create reusable components all right so if I remove this header from here so we'll see only our part on browser you see now our only text is there so this is about today's chapter so in the next chapter I'll discuss about the React components, the functional components, the class components and how we can import those components inside this app.js. So I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.